Hi, in this video we will see how HashMap works in Java. Also we will see what are the enhancements done to um, HashMaps in Java 8. Plus I will show you a couple of animations regarding put and get operations so that uh, the implementation is more uh, evident for you. So uh, now let's quickly see what exactly is a hash map. Uh, the java.util package provides us a lot of built-in data structures so that we don't have to implement, implement it from our own, uh, you know, we don't have to hand create them. So um, the popular uh, data structures are like lists, sets and maps. So maps are uh, basically associative arrays that lets you um, store key value associations. That means you can store key against value and then later if you want to look up the value you can just use the key and look it up. So uh, that makes uh, it one of the popular data structures in terms of enterprise applications where you can use this to represent big caches where you're, you'll have a key and some uh, big object as the value. Later on somewhere in the application you can use the same key and reach the value and retrieve the value whenever you need it. Also, um, uh, you can imagine a hash map or a map as a dictionary. So now, what exactly is a hash map? Hash map is one of the implementations of the map interface. And hash map is known as a hash map because it, uh, it is based on a technique called hashing. So hashing is basically a technique where you will transform a large string into or a large string or basically a, uh, an object into a short fixed length uh, representation. So for example, uh, uh, you know, let's consider a string, a large string, you can convert that into a small uh, fixed length integer. So that helps us uh, faster indexing and lookups. At the same time, uh, there are some catches that we should be aware of. So let's see them. So basically in Java, as you know, um, each and every object has a hash code method available. So that hash code method is supposed to return the hash of the object. For example, if you call uh, the hash code API on a string, you will get an integer back. And, uh, and there is a equals and hash code contract that exists in Java. That basically goes like this. If two objects are equal, they should have the same hash code as well. So that means it's very important to have robust hash code implementation in your classes. And if you have uh, difficulty in implementing your own hash code, for example, you are implementing a account class for example and uh, you are not able to provide a very good uh, hash code implementation you can always let the IDE generate for you and they do a good job sometimes uh, in generating hash code uh, implementations so uh, okay now coming back to the equals and hash code uh, contract why is it important it is important because the hash code is used uh, in storing values into the hash map so when we look up um, you know values corresponding to a given key if the hash code is not consistent you won't be able to look up uh, the corresponding value ever so we will see why exactly is that uh, in in the following animation regarding hash maps but before that let's quickly touch upon the uh, implementation details so as you can see here on high level hash map is basically um, implementation of the map interface at the same time if you look at the low level details hash map has a table an array of nodes and nodes are basically um, int hash key the key that you send to the hash map the value that you will add to the table and a pointer to the next node so basically the node itself is a linked list inside the table so each um, index in this array that you can imagine as a uh, as a node which actually can be a linked list of nodes. Okay, so basically uh, each index in the table is known as a bucket, for example, and each bucket is a node, which in turn can be a linked list of nodes. So let's see how this implementation works in uh, in terms of the put operation. So in this example, we are trying to put uh, a person name and the score he uh, you know scored in some game or something, and we are trying to store that into a hash map. So as we said, the hash map comprises of a table initially, and the table is sized based on uh, you know uh, two raised to n. So by default, uh, the hash map comes with uh, a table of size sixteen. That is one six sixteen, and um, so the index of the table ranges from zero to fifteen. 
So we need to um, fit these entries into this table. So let's see how it works when the put operation happens. So first we are trying to put uh, the key king and value 100 into the uh, hash map. So the put API is called and the put API basically computes hash of the key which is hash of king which is 2306996 and then we cannot have an array of this size in Java 2306996. Theoretically you can have that kind of an array but if each and every hash, hash map is going to have such a huge array within it soon you will run out of memory and you will have a lot of other issues. So th that's why uh, the hash map is sized, the hash map table is sized to 2 raised to n and now we have to run a little index computation to find out where exactly we can fit this hash code in our table of range 0 to 15. So the index is computed using a modulo operation. So basically you divide the hash code using the um, you know, maximum value of the range and you get the reminder and the reminder will be a value that you can fit within the range. So to make it faster, uh, hash map implementation uses the bitwise operation as shown here. So the index computes to 4 and that means the entry will go into this index 4 as a node. So you can see a new node is created with the key value and the hash value and the value itself which is 100 which is a score and null meaning it's not pointing to any other node. Now let's see how the next entry will be entered into the hash map. So we call uh, scores.putclark with score 90. So computation of the key uh, hash of the key happens which is a big number. So we try to find out on, on what index we can fit this hash code into. So which is the um, index 2. So that goes into the index 2 of the table as an entry with the key with the hash code with the value 90 and null indicating that it's not pointing to any more uh, nodes right now. So now let's try to insert uh, the entry Blake with score 10 into the hash map. So the hash of Blake is computed which is 6328140 and we are trying to find out the index where it can be fitted that happens to be 4. So here we have in theory some sort of a collision because we already have an entry at uh, index 4 so what we would do is that this entry will be added as the next node of the already existing node at index 4 so that means the pointer in this node which is basically created for king will point to the new node that is created for Blake and it will have these um, properties in it now let's go and put Ford with score 110, the hash of the key is computed, the index is computed as 10 and it's fitted into um, 10. Now comes the next entry which is Smith with value 10. So hash is computed, index is computed as 6, it goes to uh, index 6. Now we are trying to put Ward with score 99, hash is computed index is computed as 4 so we already have two entries here at index 4 so what will be this entry will be added as a new node after the node Blake so let's see how that happens there you go now comes uh, scores.putJones with value 99 so the hash of Jones is computed which is this value and the index is computed as 0 and the entry goes at uh, index 0 so this is how uh, the hash map will look like at the end of uh, all these put operations. So as, as we saw whenever there is a collision uh, theoretically like if all these hash codes were same or if they were computing the same index those entries will be stored as a linked list of nodes. And also we should know, uh, we should know that hash map lets you store uh, null as a key. So null will always have a hash of zero so the index of null key will be always index 0. So there is no confusion regarding that. So that's how uh, the hash map put operations work. Now let's see how the get operations work in Java. So scores.get Clark. So we want to 
get the score that clerk had. So first we call the get operation get object key. So uh, the get operation also does the same set of operations. It finds the hash of the key which is this number. Now it computes the index where that uh, key could have fitted. So the index computed as 2. So uh, now we will look up index 2 on the table. We have an entry. So with that entry we compare the hash code of the key against the hash code available there on that entry. That matches. Now we will compare the key itself that was used against the key that is available on that entry using the equals method. That also matches. That means we have found a match. So the value at that node is returned to the caller and the caller gets the score which is 90. So now let's see how uh, scores.getKing will work. It works in the same way. Hash is computed for King and the possible index is computed which is 4. So we will see what is there on 4. So we see one entry. Now we will compare the hash code of the given key with the uh, hash code at the entry. Matched. Now we will compare the given key with using equals method against the key that is stored on the node. That also matches. So that means we can return this value to the caller. So the score of king we got 100. Perfect. Now let's see how exactly scores.getWard will work. So again it will go through the same steps. Hash for ward is computed which is this number. Now the possible index is computed which is uh, basically 4. So, that, so we see that there is an entry and then we compare the hash code for given key against the hash code at the entry. So now the hash codes don't match. So we kind of skip that entry and go to the next entry and try to match the hash code against that entry's hash code. Again that hash codes did not match. So then we go to the next entry in that linked list and try to match the hash code there. And there is a match. So since we found a match on hash code, uh, we will uh, compare the key um, using the equals method against the key that was given. That also passes. That means we return the value 99 to the caller. So that's how uh, the map lookup works in a hash map. So uh, what has changed in Java 8? Uh, so uh, in Java 8 what has happened is that uh, when we have too many uh, unequal keys which are producing the same hash code or the index as we saw, um, uh, when the number of uh, such um, items actually uh, exceeds a threshold, for example number 8, that is a basic threshold. When it exceeds that threshold, uh, hash map implementation internally converts that linked list into a balanced tree. So a balanced tree is uh, theoretically faster than a linked list as balanced tree provides you um, a worst case performance of uh, log n which is uh, compared to um, which is compared to um, order of n uh, performance of a linked list which is uh, definitely better. So that is a change in Java 8 which gives you which gives you performance improvements when there is uh, too many unequal keys providing uh, you the same hash code or resolving to the same index. So um, balanced search tree uh, uh, is basically ordered uh, based on um, the, the hash code as the uh, smaller hash code will be on the um, uh, left hand side, left hand node and the higher hash code will be on the uh, right side and in case when the hash codes are same, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the keys are compared and the bigger key goes to the right and smaller key goes to the left. So uh, again the um, efficiency of uh, the, the tree based um, implementation enhancement depends a lot on how your uh, hash codes and uh, comparable implementations that you have provided. So uh, that is the enhancement in Java 8. So in our next session what we will see is that uh, what are the various different kinds of maps that are out there in Java and what is the exact purpose of these hash maps or uh, map implementations and uh, when, we, when we can use them. So for today's session uh, we have seen how um, the hash map works. 
So we, what we have to keep in mind is basically uh, what exactly is a map? What, are, what is the importance of equals to and hash code contract? And um, what, what exactly is hash code collisions? Basically when uh, two unequal objects creating same hash code, that's called a hash code collision. And um, how the hash code collision is managed within the hash map, for example, using the linked list or uh, the balance tree in Java 8. So that pretty much concludes uh, this topic. And please uh, stay tuned for the upcoming updates on further videos. Thank you.